Welcome to The Long Review, my name is Will, where I do tech unboxing, tech reviews, and tech tutorials. And today's episode is a follow-up video to my custom desktop PC fan setup. Um, I did that video about four months ago, and I've had over 25,000 views and over, I think, 200 comments on that video alone. So I want to thank you guys all for watching, and thank you guys for all the feedback. So I wanted to address some of the feedback that I received in the comments, some good, some bad. The first thing I want to address is a lot of people told me I had a positive flow desktop. And the answer is they're incorrect. I actually have a negative flow desktop. Positive flow desktop setup means I have more air coming in than air coming out. In this case, I only have two fans blowing air in, which is to the front intake. And then I have three fans here, here, and here in the back, exhausting it out. So that actually creates a negative flow desktop. Um, I'm going to put an article here from New Egg that I was using as a reference point when I was doing some more research. And, that's ex and they do a really good job explaining between a positive and negative flow. Um, one of the things I also wanted to address was um, I am getting a lot of dust in this uh, setup. Uh, I did a video recently on this Corsair Carbide 275R mid-tower desktop case, which is what I have here. And I did a video whether the temperature mat makes a difference with the cover on and cover off. I found for myself it did make a difference with it off. I found the temperatures were cooler for both my CPU and GPU. And what I decided to do was leave it off. Based on some of the temperature readings I did of with the on and off, I found the PC was cooler with it off. So my CPU, my GPU, which I'm running a 2080 Super, a 3700X AMD, um, in terms of rendering 4K videos, as well as um, 4K gaming, I found that the PC was cooler with it off. So I, I choose to remain to have it off. Um, so the issue with it, I believe with the off is it allows more air to come through, which means I have more opportunities for dust. So I'm gonna take you to some sample footage right now in terms of the front filter here. Right now it's full of dust. And uh, when I flip off, when I flip the magnetic piece off the top, I don't know if you can see this, um, but you can see an imprint of the dust on here as well. And the dust, you can see um, where the fan's not making any kind of uh, contact, you can see the dust outline of the fan. So here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take a vacuum cleaner and kind of uh, vacuum it all up. Um, yeah, there's thought just put a bit of dust in here. I can see right now. Um, again, I'm gonna show you some footage. I'm stock. I know with positive flow desktop is you have more air coming in that there's more chances of collecting dust in. This is a negative flow desktop and I'm still receiving a lot of dust. It's probably because I have the cover off. So the dust you see here is after four weeks. I'm gonna just quickly vacuum it up. Another thing I wanted to address was um, Hardware Connects recently released a video, I think last week on PC fans app as well. And uh, interesting is they said that having the two top fans blowing on it was actually cooler than having it exhaust air out. So some, based on the uh, articles and the form they read, the GPU is actually the, the biggest thing that produces heat and heat rises. As the heat rises, it just makes sense for the exhaust fan to kind of vent out to the top. Um, so that's my thinking when I first set this up and based on the research I did, but Hardware Canucks recently said that having the fans pointing down, blowing on it, resulted in cooler temperatures. So that's something I'm gonna do right now. I am actually going to switch these two fans to be blowing down. I'm gonna switch, this, this fan will be in the same, blowing out. And then I'm gonna turn this bottom fan blowing out. I'm gonna turn this one actually completely off. So one of the things I talk about is I want to create a neutral flow of airflow. And neutral flare usually means that all the fans you have the same number of fans intaking and exhausting air out. So I'm gonna do that too. I'm gonna to see if it, that makes a difference in terms of cooling temperatures for my, my setup. I'm gonna run a few tests. I'm gonna run the exact same test I did before. I'm gonna do uh, 4K rendering. I'm gonna do a 4K um, Camtasia time-lapse, which was very intensive. I'm also going to do some 4K gaming as well. 
you know, I think hopefully those are real life tests. I'm not going to do any benchmarking and send a bench or and all that stuff. It's realistic. I don't do those things. I wanted real world examples. So what we do now is I'm going to do a quick video of me um, cleaning out the dust first. And then also I'm going to switch out the fan. So again, I'm going to turn these two top fans um, blowing in. I'm going to change this fan here, exhausting out. This fan remained the same, exhausting out. Uh, and then we'll measure the temperature difference and see if that makes a difference. All right, so stay tuned. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, switch out the orientation of these fans. So these are the top two exhaust fans currently. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip them around to blow in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn, uh, disconnect. I have two fans two in the front here. I don't know if you can see this. I have two fans in the front here. So I'm actually going to disconnect this one. And then I'm going to turn on this one to um, exhaust out. So I'm going to flip that one. So the first thing I'm going to do is flip these two fans here. Okay, so remember, as I talked about in my previous video, is fans do have arrows on them. I don't know if you can see this. Fans do have arrows on them, so just pay attention to the arrow. So now I'm gonna flip it this way to blow air in. So now I've reconfigured all of my fans. So this is what the new setup will look like. The back fan remained the same, still exhaust out. The two top fans I have here used to be exhausting out. Now they're blowing in. So air is gonna be drawn in this way. And then this fan on the top, I have completely disabled. And then this one here um, is now exhausting out. So ideally what happened is now the air is going this way and flowing in, out, flowing in, out, flowing in, out. Now that I'm using two fans for Intaking and two fans for exhausting. Um, this is a neutral airflow situation. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna close this up, put the filters back on. We'll take some temperature readings to see if it makes a difference. In terms of fan settings, I used an app called AI Suite 3 that was part of a suite of applications for my Asus X570 motherboard. I made sure to click on their default fan settings for the before configuration and after the new configuration, just to make sure it was consistent readings. I've also left the front panel off my Corsair Carbide 275R, which is what my normal setup would be. To record the temperatures, I use a free application called HW Info 64. And this allows me to record sensor readings on my motherboard, CPU, and GPU, and downloads into a CSV file for analysis. I'll leave a link in the description below. For test one, I did a cold boot and let it idle for 30 minutes. I did this test three times and averaged out the temperature readings. The motherboard gave a reading of 17.96 degrees Celsius hotter, which is about 60% increase from the original temperature. CPU was nominal, which was at 2% increase. GPU was about 10.1 degrees Celsius hotter, which equated to about a 31% increase from the original temperature. For test two, I created a time-lapse video that contained over 1,100 JPEG pictures for one of my recent videos, which was the Fuji X-T3 tutorial time-lapse video. I did the test three times and averaged out the temperature readings. So the motherboard was 13.24 degrees Celsius hotter, which was about 42% increase from the original temperature. The CPU was 11.39 degrees Celsius hotter, which is about 27% higher than the original temperature. My GPU was 14.52 degrees Celsius hotter, 
which is about 47% higher than the original temperature. For test three, I exported an eight minute clip at 4K with some graphics in it using DaVinci Resolve. Again, I did this test three times and averaged out the temperature readings. The motherboard was 12.25 degrees Celsius hotter, which is about 38% higher than the original temp. My CPU was 6.89 degrees Celsius hotter, which is about 15% higher than the original temp. My GPU was 9.02 degrees Celsius hotter, which was about 25% higher than the original temp. Test four, and this was the most interesting one, which was totally not expecting. So playing Destiny 2 at the highest video settings for one hour of gameplay. Again, I did this three times. I'm running an Asus RTX 2080 Super Graphics card from NVIDIA. I have a 2K monitor and it's running at 144 frames per second. So I did this for three times. I know I sacrificed myself playing three hours of Destiny 2. And I actually shut down the computer for half an hour between each game to make sure the temperature went back to ambient room temperature before running the test again. The motherboard was 22.34 degrees Celsius hotter, which was 60% higher than the normal temp. My CPU was pretty nominal at 656% increase. GPU, the GPU temperature reading was the biggest shock for me. It was a huge 29.62 degrees Celsius hotter, which was about 72% hotter than the original temp. And that is huge. Before I give my final thoughts, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, like the video, and consider subscribing to my channel for similar content. I was not anticipating these results at all. I was expecting them to be closer from my current setup, the new config, to my old configuration using five different fans. So clearly the current configuration I have using four fans and having a neutral airflow and having an intake coming down and exhausting out is not working. It's just not efficient. So. I got a lot of armchair PC builders out there, so I'm gonna let you guys tell me what I should do next. I received tons of comments of what I should and shouldn't be doing for um, my original video, so I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. Leave a comment below. What are some of your suggestions now to cool my PC? I'm game to do whatever configuration changes based on your current suggestions before I decide to switch back to my original fan configuration. I look forward to all of your feedback. So thank you for watching. And until next time.